How's it going everyone? In this video I'm going to show you how to make a realistic drop shadow effect in Canva for free. I'll show you how to go from this to this and how to fully customize it. Normally this feature is only available in a paid version but you'll see how to do it in a free version. Let's get straight to it. Essentially the secret source for this technique is to turn the text into an image so that we can apply advanced adjustments to manipulate it and make it realistic. Previously, you would make a drop shadow by creating a text, duplicating it, making it dark, then sending it backwards behind the original text. However, we cannot add any blur to the text like we can to images, so you will always have sharp edges. Firstly, we want to create a piece of text exactly how we want it to look in the final design. I'll use a fresh page for this. Use the keyboard shortcut T to create a text. Change the font. Keep the text black on a white background as this makes it easier to make it transparent and turn it into an image. Click download, then download as a PNG. Save it somewhere easy to access. I'll just quickly rename the file. Now, head over to lunapic.com, upload the image we just saved. We want to remove the white background so we just have the transparent text for the shadow. If we don't, the drop shadow will be a rectangle, which we don't want. Click Edit, Transparent Background. Click on the white part of the image to remove it. White sections will remain within the letters so we need to change the mode from transparent area to transparent color. The remaining white parts will now be gone. Click apply then save the image as a PNG so that it retains the transparency. Click file, save image, save as PNG. Now we need to upload the image back to Canva. Click Upload and select the file. Now we have an image of our text. Resize it so that it's the same size as the original. It doesn't have to be exact because we're going to blur it anyway and turn it into a shadow. As you can see, the top one is the original text with the usual options to change its properties, color, font, etc. The bottom one is the image we just created. We can't change the font, the color, letter spacing, etc. But we can now apply effects to it. If we click adjust, we can change the blur, which gives us a realistic shadow effect that we are after. We can now place it behind the text. Let's add a background and change the color of the main text to white to make it look better, and make it stand out. I'll just add a blue sky background to it. There you go, that looks good to me. Because the image is a rectangle, I can select it by clicking above the main text. I can then move it around and adjust the blur accordingly. You can make it look like it's floating, or you can just have a regular drop shadow. There you go, a drop shadow effect that actually looks realistic. If you found this video useful, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe if you want more straightforward tech tutorials that will make your life easier and more productive. I'm putting out videos weekly now, so hit the bell to get notified when a new video drops. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.